Well, hello, hello combat crew, crew and welcome, welcome to, to another Scorpion, Scorpion and Sub Zero. Sub -Zero. Open, Open a box. box. Today I have a not yes. a box. I have an envelope here. I'm gonna open this envelope and inside. Oh, oh shit! Uh, opens an I have envelope. An, I have an envelope here because we're not gonna show that other side because that's my address. Okay. So, um, so yeah, th this is an envelope. It is of a mask with a Sub-Zero design on it. Oh. It's actually pretty similar to this one right here. I have a. I, 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 it's pretty similar to this one I have on right here. You can tell I need a different mask on because I'm losing my air. And this is by Cutie Print. They make a Scorpion one. They make all sorts of other characters, including a Jason Voorhees and stuff. And so let's just go ahead and, and open this up. There are three different sizes. You have a regular size, which is what I have in here, a smaller size, and a large one for people with very large faces. So here we go. Let's see what we got inside here. Grab this out. And this is what it looks like. Uh -huh. Look at that. Let's see it on my face so we can get some it's real detail down. on there. So that's upside down. I got to turn it this way. So this is your regular size. So this is um, very thick material, it's especially since most people have to be wearing masks when they go out and about these days. Check this out. Cutie print. Let me go ahead and put it on. Seeing another person with a mask, keep in mind that they're thinking about you too. Not only is it uh required now in washington um if you're going outside you got to have a mask on anyway might as well have a sub-zero scorpion face on it okay so first and foremost i have to say that this regular size is kind of like that other mask you had before where you probably need to pull the straps back past your ear and tie them at the very back because on me the regular size is actually quite loose the belly clava is helping it affix, and you can see that you can see a little bit on the bottom. Let's take this off and let's show you my hair and everything else. So you can see what it would be like if you're just straight up wearing a COVID mask. Out taking it off. Yep. Okay. There yeah, we so go. So it does, it does uh, in natively fix to your ears it is those, those little loop things that majority of uh, COVID masks are having just to kind of go over your ears. But if you do hate that, like me, you or don't me. have to, or him, you don't have to actually wear them over your ears. You can elongate them and you go over like the back of your head. You can kind of pull it, yeah, and squeeze it like that so that, so that they're, they're meeting each other in the back. And as you can see, once you do that, it will affix much tighter to your face, which is very important. It improves your filtability. It, it, it keeps things from going, or air droplets, water droplets, from passing into the vents above your face in between your nose and cheeks. So if it's tight like that, and how's it breathably? It's not very breathable, and I'm actually going to have to give this a fairly negative review, guys. Because A, it's not the color it should be. It's a very different color, which... So it's faded. Is that right? The is second that what image shows that, but the display image is a very darker blue, kind of almost like this outfit. Okay, so we just bumped the saturation a little bit to make the print look better. It is not very breathable. And, and one thing to consider is even if you do tighten it like this, look at the bottom here. It is not very tight or it doesn't go over my chin. Okay, also, so the, the dimensions from nose to chin tip is quite short. Is that what you're saying? So it won't actually go under your chin, which it needs to do. To, to protect you from COVID and to protect filter. you from breathing in stuff. So if, if you have that problem, then what you're gonna do is you'll pull the mask down, and which it will, will pull it off give you nose. problems on your nose. So if anything were to come in through here, it will give you problems. It's also very difficult to breathe through this. So yeah, the thicker materials, you gotta, you gotta really balance that out. Um, if, if you're gonna do a thick material, uh, you gotta worry about suffocating the people wearing the material. But also, if it's too thin, what is it doing? Is it actually taking anything out of the air? I have to be fair you? though, it, it does not, this does not say it's a COVID mask. But that is probably because on Etsy, you cannot claim that it is a COVID mask. It's one of their things that unless it's actually for sure following all the procedures like the M95 mask, M95. they can get in trouble with that. But very clearly, if you're getting a mask like this, 
your intention is to use it for COVID. So that's why the review is matching in that way is because I know that most of you guys don't want to just have a straight up black mask. You want to be able to ref the Lin Kuei, right? Or, or the Shirai Ryu. Right, right, yeah. right, yep, I'm not leaving you out. But the problem is, is that on the regular size, as you can see, it's very loose for the ears. So I would have to affix this to the back. But if I do that, I can't breathe at all. And so if you have breathing problems or or asthma or allergies or something like that, those type of people are really easy to shorten, shortness of breath, that mask will not work for you very well. I think that these masks need to be a little bit longer. The problem is, is that there is a larger size, but if I got the larger size, it would be even looser on my face. But maybe getting the very large size for somebody with a somewhat smaller face like me would work. But if you have a bigger face, it will not protect all of that. Even if you get the larger size, there's no way it would. So this is not something I would recommend for COVID. I would recommend this for if you want to just wear a mask inside your house as kind of a, you know, just I want to be stylish. I want to have a cheap Sub-Zero mask. It's $14. It's not a COVID mask for, for sure. It, that is definitely an inherent to the rules mask. If you are supposed to wear a face covering going into an establishment or going out in public in your state, that will adhere to those rules for but sure. It won't but actually it won't protect, protect you from the virus. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to give this one a three and a half out of five. I don't like to give it a low score, but the reason I'm giving it a low score is because it doesn't match the main picture. There will be people who have too big of faces for the largest mask that is offered. And on top of that, that of course, there are going to be a lot of people, even though this doesn't say it's for COVID, that are wanting to buy the mask to protect themselves and their loved ones, and as well as others from just spreading what they may have, you know, be asymptomatic. They may not know if they have it and be able to spread it. And so people will buy these masks on, on Etsy and everywhere else, expecting them to protect them. I know that's not what this seller is saying it's for, but I, that's why I have to review it this way because a lot of people are doing this, buying these masks because of this, and people are selling masks that to some degree they're kind of aware they need to be protecting a little bit more. So. You know, one way to solve that is to have more sizes and to have it cover more of, of the, the up to down because because it's fine here. It's just that maybe there's there's a way to make these straps a little bit more adjustable. Maybe if you had a clip instead of using the, you know, the the uh, over the ears method, it might actually clip in the back. Yeah, and having that as an option would be a good idea to sellers. Be able to right. get the, the ear option or around the head option when selling the mask. So I don't mean to pick on cutie print because this is a common problem, but a lot of people are buying COVID masks right now. And I just want to make sure that you guys are staying protected, that you're buying the right mask, because if you have a lot of clearance like this, a lot of opening, it's not doing as much for you as you think it is. And it's, since it's very unbreathable, which of course, that's what the, where the filters come in. You know, having a mask, you can drop a filter into you still can breathe through, but you are completely protected because the last thing you want is for it to be so hard to breathe, especially out in the summer, that you're going to keep it loose and sacrifice protecting yourself. So if you're looking for a COVID mask, which is the intention of making this video, I know they can't say that they're COVID masks, but I was really trying to show you guys one that you would be able to wear out and about. In this test, you're going to see that Bill Nye inspired it's the candle test. It's breathing in front of a candle and seeing whether or not you can put the candle out and how much it's affected by your oxygen. So let's just go ahead and try the Sub-Zero mask first, see how that goes. And as you can see with the Sub-Zero mask, it is very difficult for oxygen to go directly through. Now let's move on to that green cotton mask that, that I have as, as kind of a example. As you can see, it's a lot more affected. You can see the, the, the flicker of the flame happening so much more. Now the N95 is a mask used often by um, painters and, and people working in, in drywalling. This mask is super breathable. It's about as breathable as that green mask I was just wearing. But as you can see, the flame is not in, in any way affected. So 
And the last thing I'll say about this, guys, is just be very careful with the masks that you're getting for COVID, that they are just flush, really tight toward your face, that they can have filters in them, and that they're somewhat breathable as a result of that, because if it's not breathable, you will be wanting to pull it away from your face and have that opening. And that opening is really what's going to, to besides the, the whether or not there's a filter that's gonna protect and prevent stuff from the outside getting in and vice versa, having it very tight is important so you don't breathe in those particles that might be in the air. So um, there are other mask makers. I'm gonna be trying to get find the perfect one that will help you guys out because COVID cases are on the rise right now. Mm. So we have to all be careful out there, washing our hands plenty, wearing masks. We love you guys. Uh, three and a half snow cones is what I'm giving this one. This is cutie print. Um, I'm going to be looking for some other ones. If you have any that you know of that are protecting you well, let me know down below, especially if they have a Lin Kuei design on them. I would love to see those. Cutie print, link down below for that if you want this mask for a casual wear and isn't going to be for COVID. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell thing if you'd like to see more. And we'll see you guys next time on whatever the hell it is we're going to do next. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.